Daniel Le, Lemieux, or Lemur. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Uh, hey, Dutch, do you think a guy like What's Steve his Wo- name? Uh, What's his name? What's his name again? You, I'll spell it for you. L-E-M-I-E-U-X. Oh, Lemo. Lemo, Lemo. Uh, hi, Dutch. It, or hey, Dutch. It's French-Canadian. It's Louisiana. That's why they spell ask, names. If it's going to be French-Canadian or if it's going to be deep south yes because of the no i think it, like it would be creole? louisiana is it creole down creole yes it is yes it is, yes, it is. you must be sort of half impressed with my american knowledge for someone who's only been to new york you're learning something yeah. see now you know so he says hey dutch do you think a guy like steve lombardi belongs in the wwe hall of fame if not why i feel like he does because of the years he worked and he's the most recognizable jobber in the biz as Boston, I mean, what was his name? The the Boston Botherer. No, it's Brooklyn Brawler. Brooklyn Brawler. I said Boston. Does Brooklyn Brawler deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Not no, <laughs> but hell. <laughs> Yeah, I think he should be. He, he was. He spent most of his time around that area. Put everybody over. Everybody knew him. So I see no harm in honoring him by putting him in the Hall of Fame. I think if I would almost watch it just to see him cry, because you know we. See, if they put me in the Hall of Fame, it, it don't matter to me one way or the other if they put me in the Hall of Fame. But some guys, it is a major, major dream of theirs to be included in the Hall of Fame. And I think uh, Steve Lombardi is one of them. And I think if they did induct him, I think in giving his induction speech, I think we'd see some tears because I think it's because he's a New York guy grew up around there and he has some great stories about the old days and he was there. So yeah, I think he would actually fit into the hall of fame, not for what he's done and achieved in the ring, but just being outside the ring. And just being a, a figurehead, so to speak. What did when you do? talk about the Brooklyn Brawl, huh? It, what did you do in WWE? Because I've interviewed him twice, and I'm I'm still not quite sure what his job title was. In the sense, uh, was he, did he just shepherd oh, people he, around, or what did he do? Yeah. Well, after his working days were over, yeah, he just worked there, <clears throat> and he would he would run like camera sessions. He would run the he he would he would organize it. He'd get the camera set up, and then he'd go get the guy, and he'd have all the stuff that they would give him and have him do this interview and have him do this. And and he wouldn't do it for Raw or SmackDown or any, but he would do it for their, I would say their, you know, they have a syndication, then they have a semi-syndication. Because that goes to the smaller towns, the smaller areas. But he would be in, he would be in charge of that. And sometimes he would be in charge of promo. Uh, I mean, if they just wanted to see if you could talk, and this this was just for internal uh, internal uh, use. Yeah, like an audition almost and, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. He would go and he would take it and he he'd show it to him. And but they would always have him something to do. But the deal is, he was he's always been there. He was all, he was always there. He was there over 30 years. So, you know, he was kind of stunned when he probably, they, they, they finished him up because he didn't expect it. But again, that's the nature of the beast. And sometimes things happen. You don't want to happen, but, but I think he's happy now, mm. but I, I think he would, and a lot of people still remember him, especially in the, in the, New York metro area because when they had that local TV up there, well, I think, well, I don't know that many people remember him. They'd probably all be dead, but, <laughs> but, uh, 
but yeah, I don't, I don't think you'd have a big battle by having him included mm. in the same way with, with, uh, Harvey Whipperstein. What's your name? Harvey Uncle what? Whippleman. You know, downtown Bruno. <laughs> yeah. Whipperstein or Whipple, Whippleman. Yeah. And you well, put him Jewish in there now. too. He did. No, he would cry too. He would, I think he would sincerely get tears. Now me, no, I wouldn't get tears. If there's any money that comes with it, yeah, I'd take that. I may cry when I got the money, you know, (laughs) but as far as crying over uh, an ambition that I had of being in a hall of fame and I wouldn't do it. 